Hi there, I'm Ben, welcome to part 10 of my full Platinum walkthrough for Dark Souls 2, Skull of the First Sin. So the ultimate destination for this video is Brightstone Cove Seldora, I think that's how it's said, <laughs> that's how I'm saying it. Um, but we do need to go through the doors of Pharos to get there. There is a boss in the doors of Pharos, but we're not even going to bother with that, the Royal Rat Authority. We don't need to do it, so I'm not going to do it. I will show you where it is if you want to do it. It's basically fighting, like fighting Sif if you've done Dark Souls 1. It's basically that, but without a sword and annoying poison rats. Uh, so what I'm going to do quickly here is just go down this big ladder. This is the big ladder that we bought from uh, Laddersmith Gilligan. This is the one that cost us 12,000 and got us the trophy. So be careful getting off that ladder as well. Don't move because you will fall. Uh, it's a bit of a weird one. Go right to the bottom and then just kind of turn around a little bit. You can fall off there quite easily. It's quite annoying. And then we're going to go up here and use the forgotten key, which we got from the two giants in Black Gulch. Uh, you can do this at any time, but I've just fit it in here at the beginning. We're going to do a bit of clean up here at the beginning. So you're going to get the Dragon Talon, which is a key to one of the DLCs. We're going to get a Sorcery, a Miracle, and then a couple of like weapons, a branch of belt. I think they're a witch tree branch and which I don't have I've never actually used them. I'm guessing they're a tree uh, a tree. <laughs> they're a sword and a um shield, the way it's worded. I've never actually looked at them. I should maybe I should do my research. But I've never used them. So anyway, they're there if you want them. Yeah, but most importantly is the miracle and the uh the key and the sorcery. That's all we'd get in from down here. It's just a little secret area. And then we're going to head back up this massive ladder. I'm going to cut it out because it does take a while to get up this thing. Uh, so we're going to go up here and then we're going to go back to Undead Purgatory. And we're just going to get a quick trophy here, Sanguinary Covenant, uh, which is for joining the Covenant, the Brotherhood uh, Covenant. Remember that little dwarf guy? We have uh, the Token of Spite now, so we can go and give him that. Uh, we can join his Covenant. Uh, I'm just checking here for reinforcing, so I'm just checking I can actually do it. So I need a couple more, so I'm going to do it here because we do need to still get that trophy from um, the other smith, uh, Macduff. So we're going to go there as well and uh, do that eventually. So I'm going to leave that for now. I'm just going to go to Undead Purgatory. You'll literally walk straight to where we need to go, so it's going to take two seconds just to get this out of the way. Uh, then you're going to see this guy here. Speak to him, exhausted dialogue. Say yes to everything he asks you. So I've, I've skipped it all out, but he's going to ask you a few things. Just keep saying yes, 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 yes. And then eventually you'll get to the point where um, you join the Covenant, you can get the trophy. So you don't need to actually join the Covenant, the Brotherhood of Blood. You'll get the trophy, that's all you need from this, so just do no, uh, and then just move on. It's a PvP Covenant, so it doesn't really matter. It affects nothing apart from just getting that trophy and getting the hell out. That's all we're doing. And then we're going to go over to the Doors of Pharos. So we will go and get the trophy from uh, Macduff afterwards, but not right now. We're going to go to the doors of Pharos, just get a few materials, uh, and then go and do that. So this area is very quick. You basically run through this place. There is a boss. I'll show you where it is. I'll show you where a few of the item things are as well. So yeah, watch out for the little thing there. That's probably more dangerous than the big elephant, to be honest, or the mastodon. Again, just circle straight round. Uh, he shouldn't be able to hit you. Like, look at that. He swung then and completely missed. I wasn't even guarding. Um, obviously, don't expect it to do that, but it was it must have been because he was on... That one hit, see? must have been because I was on a different level. I don't know. And then we're going to go and just open... So that here, there's lots and lots of the, uh, the locks. Lots and lots of the locks. <laughs> uh, don't bother. There's, like, two... That are worth opening i will show you which two if you want them um but yeah most of them just ignore them like these two on the side here you can see uh, they open this door you can see the, the doors sort of split into three to get through this door you only need to do this one i'll just show you what's in here this is the santiers or the santiers spear it's up to you if you want the spear obviously come and get it but yeah if you were wondering this door you can literally just open it with just that one uh, you don't need to waste all three. You'll have plenty of those uh, forest lock stones now. Plenty of them. Uh, we hardly need to use any of them anymore. We do need just one for a, uh, a side area, which I'll show you later on. Uh, but that's also not exactly necessary either. But I will show you where it is. Uh, Santia Spear. And then you've got some amber herbs, or amber herds, <laughs> whatever. Um, 
over here. And then I'll show you where the actual boss is. So this place we're actually going now, where the direction we're going now is into Doors of Pharos. The only reason I'm coming here is to get this hex at the top of this ladder. Uh, there's nothing else we need here. It doesn't lead to anywhere. This is a dead end. So it's it's a, a full circle once you, you kill the boss. Uh, the reason you would kill this boss is to join the Covenant, the Rat Covenant. But we've already done that. So it doesn't matter. So all we need is this hex from the top here. That one there. Twisted Barricade. And I'll just show you where there's some twinkling titanite and a faint stone from one of the locks. And that is that is all we're going to be doing. Now I'll show you where the boss is as well. If you want to do it, that's up, up to you entirely. Get the extra uh, souls or whatever, but it's not necessary. I can't get behind this guy at all. <laughs> there we go. So this lock that I've just walked past is the only other one worth doing. And of course, as you may expect, we're going to see um, the trader here as well. The dwarf trader. So this lock is the only other one worth doing. It opens a door down here underneath. A lot of them are kind of traps, or they just don't lead anywhere, or just nonsense, basically. <laughs> so yeah, don't go wasting them all. And another reason to stay, or just to grab a couple of things here, are the Titanite Chunk and Petrified Dragon Bone from the end here. It's just on the way through. So watch out for this wall. You'll see it arm there. You can see those spikes. Um, yeah, don't run into them. It doesn't push you off or anything. This is a wooden chest, you can see, so do not fight this guy near the chest. If you break the chest, you'll lose the items inside. So get him to sort of hit you over here, and then you can get a backstab in. But do not go swinging um, near it. You don't want him to break it either. Because it's two pretty important upgrade materials, it is gas, so um, dodge away. Don't get poisoned. Titanite Chunk and a Petrified Dragon Bone. I will be getting the, the, the weapon I'm going to be using for the rest of the game in this video. Obviously, it's up to you. If you don't want the Butcher's Knife, don't get it. You are free to use whatever. All we need to do is fully upgrade a weapon, which I'm also going to do in this video. Uh, it doesn't matter if you just do the basic sword that, you, that I'm going to do. Um, just as long as you do one. So there's a bonfire for you, and that is the boss. Again... If you want to do it, feel free. It's basically, if you remember, if you played Dark Souls 1, it's Sif. It's like a big dog. I don't know why it's called Royal Rath Rat Authority. It's a massive dog. It has little rats with it, which you need to kill quickly. I think there's three or four of them. Uh, kill quickly, otherwise it's going to poison you. Um, yeah, and then I just showed you there was an item out there, which is just a soul item. And, that, and that's it. That's all we need from this area. So I'm going to warp back to the start of it, rather than run back. Uh, yeah, Royal Rat Authority, it's basically just a big dog. And then if you once you do beat it, you can speak to the uh, the rat um, covenant guy again. That's all there is to it. So, not necessary. So, this is where we were before. This is where we entered Doors of Pharos. If you remember from the... Uh, the dwarf has come down as well. Um... When we entered and then we ran straight for the bonfire, that's where we are now. So again, it's completely optional, that area. There's just a couple of things we needed to grab. And now we're actually going to move through and go to the main part of this video, which is Brightstone Cove Seldora. Which eventually leads to a primal bonfire and is a dead end, so we are moving towards the end of this. And then after that, there's just one more primal bonfire and then we're what I would call the half point of the game. <laughs> I know, I know. We're in uh, episode 11 by the time we get to the half point. And we've got to do DLC as well. But um, we are just going to be moving through and just getting what we need. You will be at the point now where you're kind of up on um, your weapons and your armor. You've got kind of what you need or you should be at a point where you're strong now. So we will be visiting areas uh, more sparsely, especially the DLC. Yeah, if you want to sell something, which you shouldn't really, <laughs> or you want to buy any of his uh, poison things, then there you go. That's where he's going to stay now. He always throws both of his axes if you give him time. 
so just get rid of him. Crystal Lizard here. Doesn't matter if you don't get it. It is quite a difficult one to get. Uh, but weirdly, it's actually facing me this time. Usually it doesn't. It had to turn around, which gave me the extra time. And uh, yeah, it's just large Titanite and a raw stone. Uh, yeah, I was saying, where did I? Where did we see? I can't remember where we saw him now. This one-off dwarf that I haven't seen before. This is why I don't recognise them, because there's only two others. Uh, the one that was downstairs by the chest, and that one, and you can backstab both of them. So that's why I haven't. Rec yeah, it was uh, at the beginning of Shaded Woods, wasn't it? Um, that's why I don't ever remember. I don't know why I'm trying to fight this guy. I could just run straight past him. Just kind of habit, I suppose. I can't get him. Stop turning around. I could just hit him. He's like three or four hits, he's dead. It's just not even worth what I'm doing right now. Just have it, I suppose. Right, let's get on. Let's go to uh, Bright Brightstone Cove. There's lots to do in this area. Uh, and the way the, the second half of this area kind of plays out, you, uh, you drop down and it sort of locks you off to certain items. So we will be doing a lot of warping. I actually use dying as a tactic as well, <laughs> just to walk back, uh, rather than using uh, Home of Bones or anything. So this is Bright, Bright Stone Cove Teldora. So there's a bonfire right here, and this is the best place, best place to harvest or farm um, sunlight medals, which we need 30 of for one of the covenants, because there are falconers here as well. But before we get into that, we have enough materials now to go to plus 10. You should have enough as well. Don't worry if you don't, just remember to do this later on. I'm going to go to reinforce and use this one weapon, which I'm about to stop using as well. I will use it as a backup weapon just in case. So you should have enough, and then you should have more than enough Titanite slabs at this point uh, to fully upgrade a weapon to get the Supreme Weapon Trophy. I'm going to put a few more into this. I know I've said I was going to use it. I will start using it soon. Um... And then I don't actually need any more in the armor. I will be changing the armor in a couple of videos' time as well. And then once you've done that, once you should have, you should have spent enough upgrading weapons and stuff with him at this point. Uh, if you talk to him, use the talk option. You will get uh, the Smith for Life trophy as well. That's once you've spent, I think it's twelve or fifteen thousand with him upgrading weapons. So that's why I've kept coming back here. But from now on, once you have that trophy, you can. Uh, use any smith to upgrade but until you have that trophy use him now we'll go back and uh, yeah I'll show you the quick this is the farming route that I use when I do this I will obviously show you later on uh, I'm not saying do this now you can do it 12 times now if you want and uh, get rid of all the enemies but kill the one in front of the bonfire then the two will run at you so you can quickly take care of those and then there's one in the tent here now there are more of them, these falconers in this area. And I didn't get one, of course I didn't. There are more, but it's quicker just to do those four and then just quickly sit at the bonfire again and rinse and repeat. Just do those four. Uh, I will obviously go and show you the whole area now. But that's the farming route I will take. So if you want to do this at this point, kill them 12 times, they will disappear after that. Uh, we do need to join that covenant to uh, make sure they keep appearing. But we're not doing that yet either. If you want to do a bit of it now and hope for the best. But we don't have the gold serpent ring yet. So uh, the odds won't be in your favour. So you can see there are more falconers. There's one up there. But you have these annoying pigs. Uh, which you'll have to kill. It's just quicker to kill those four that are right next to the bonfire. And just keep going back to that. Grab these. These are all just soul items. You can see that one guy is shooting me, and he keeps missing. I'm not even trying to avoid him. He's completely missing me. And then at the point where he shouldn't be able to hit me, where I'm completely underneath him, that's <laughs> that's the time he manages to get me. But there you go. Yeah, I don't get any. I actually go through this, uh, this little bit twice, because uh, there is a summon here for our boss. Um, one of the two bosses we're going to do. Uh, well, I say the boss. It's not a boss, the first one we do. It's not. It's it's pathetic. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I will kill them all twice just to try and get one, but I don't get one. Uh, I'm going to jump down this well quickly. 
You don't need to do this if you don't want to, but I'll show you here if you want. There is a pig down here. Or a boar, I suppose it is. I'm just going to grab these and I'm going to go back up. So you may have noticed there's like a, a dilapidated, dilapidated building at the side. This is how you get into it. And this chest is a mimic. You can see it has locks on it that denotes that it's a mimic. So you want to hit it from the front. I use a, just a, an R2 and then I'll move to the side because it will snap forward and try to uh, grab you. If it does grab you, it can kill you if you, you have a bit of life missing. Uh, and then quickly just go to work on it before it's able to actually get you. And inside is some dark leggings and the staff of wisdom. So if you use staffs, then there you go. <laughs> but I don't. Titanite shard. Not particularly useful at this point. And then I'm going to go just sit. The idea was to sit here uh, and just get my, um, my sword back up. Fix my sword. Um, and then just quickly do these four again. Uh, I do get two drops, but unfortunately neither of them are a sunlight medal, which is just annoying. Here he comes. So yeah, this one can be a bit, bit delayed. He will see you. <laughs> that run they do makes me laugh every time. He will see you. And then, uh, yeah, the idea was just do this and then run into this tent, get the summon and move on. But we get seen... I thought I might as well just go and do it. Because uh, I thought Ben Hart will just start attacking everyone anyway. Uh, so yeah, might as well just clear them out. See if we can get a Sunlight Medal. But we don't. We've got this uh, Soul item here as well anyway. Not interest, uh, not of importance, but uh, there it is. So yeah, Ben Hart. He, if he's not here for you, uh, it means you haven't spoken to him again. Once you, uh, you unpetrified that woman who was at the switch right at the start near Majula. Uh, so you need to speak to him there, and then he will move on and help you out. Uh, we need to defeat three bosses using him as a summon. The boss is coming up, it's very quick. Uh, but if he dies on the way there, you'll need to go back, uh, leave the area, come back and get him to follow you. You need to defeat three bosses with him helping you. There are four opportunities to do it. This is definitely one of the easiest. Uh, so yeah, you want to make sure he survives. I would actually advise moving forward. Watch out for the boulders. Obviously, there's two traps here. There's one uh, you just saw, and there's one here as well. Um, try and kill these guys before Ben Hart gets involved, because uh, he has a habit of just sort of standing back and getting knocked back like I just did then, um, and nearly falling off the cliff. So <laughs> you don't want that to happen. But yeah, he's, he's all right, Ben Hart. He's quite helpful. But we need three fights with him. I'm going to get hit. No, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Just make sure these don't follow you. That's actually Brightstone Cove. It's actually quite a cool place, this one. One of the, uh, the better areas in the game. You can see it down below. That's where we are heading eventually. So, if a big spider turns up here... <laughs> I don't think it does in New Game. It definitely does in New Game Plus and New Game Plus Plus. It will definitely turn up here. Um, just run back to where those boulders drop down and where we just kill those guys and wait for it to leave. Don't try and fight it. Uh, I don't think it appears in New Game. Um, it hasn't ever done for me, but just in case it does, I might as well uh, say. Run away. That's the boss. That's uh, Duke's dear Freya. Yeah, that's the way it is. Um, that's the, the main boss we're going to fight at the end of the video. Can't defeat her yet, so uh, just leave her. Lots of spiders. I hope you don't mind spiders because there are quite a few. These ones will not come after you. Just ignore them. And then these ones in here, there are a lot in here. You see them all over the ceiling. They're everywhere. Uh, they will only come and get you if you open up that chest. That chest only has, I think it's wooden bolts or a certain type of bolt. Not particularly interesting at all. So just ignore them <laughs> unless you want the bolts if you want the bolts open the chest but be aware that the uh, the spiders are going to drop down and get you a little secret area here if you want the priestess uh, head uh, the set the whole set it's there if you want it come on out the way 
We are actually at the boss there. That fog is the boss. Prowling Magus and the congregation. <sighs> it's not a boss. It's not. It's a group of enemies. So just make sure he uh, turns up. You will get a Titanite Slab for defeating them, which is good, I suppose. Yeah, it's a couple of clerics and some crawling around guys, and that's it. They do heal. I ran out of stamina there, which is a shame, but they are going to heal themselves. And yeah, that's all there is to this one. Just hit them. <laughs> I don't know what more to say. Um... Even if you do get hit, you won't take that much damage. I'm just not being quick enough. These two are the more annoying ones, the ones in white, the clerics. As long as you get those down, they will stop healing everybody else. But I was just running out of stamina on it for some reason, and I was trying to kill them both times then. And that's Prowling Magus, the main one in the middle. He's just a joke. And then you got the crawling around ones on the floor. You see how quickly we'll kill Prowling Mages here as well. Yeah. I mean, I was I was just casually wandering around then. And that's probably what you'll do as well. Titanite Slab. If you didn't have one, you have one now. We will be getting another one in this video as well. And this is Brightstone. So there's lots. You can see there's a zip line there. Uh, we're going to be sort of moving towards the bottom, dropping down. But there are lots of ways to get down. And there's different items each way you go. So, uh, yeah, I'll be uh, dying a couple of times. Once, by not by choice. And then I thought after that I might as well just die. It's easier. But I will give you the non-death option as well. So this guy here, if you uh, have played the first one, you may recognise him. He's, card he's the pardoner. Basically, if you accidentally hit an NPC and they become hostile to towards you, you can come here, speak to this guy, ask for being... for Ask for pardon which will make them not hostile to you, towards you anymore. So if you hit a friendly NPC, uh, then you can come here and ask for pardon. He also sells hexes, which we will come back and get later on. Don't need any of them now, unless you're using hexes, of course, then feel free. But we do need them all eventually. I'm just not going to use the souls yet. Still use them for leveling and uh, making my weapons stronger, which I'm about to get, well, soon. Cracked Red Eye Orb, completely useless because we're not doing PvP. And then the bonfire for the area, or the first bonfire for the area here. So this is kind of the jump, the, the start off point that we we're uh, going to come back to a few times. And uh, yeah, just watch out for spiders now. So there's going to be four dropping from the ceiling here. They do hit quite hard. Um, and they do have a grab, which weirdly, I mean, you're going to see me die to a grab. I've never seen them do this grab before. Uh, they've obviously do it. I've just never uh, seen it before. And this is where I'm going to die first time. I, th I swear the mo the time the amount of times I die in this game, it's going to be from falling. So I'm trying to drop down to that ledge bef below me there, I'm just trying to show you first, and then I fall and die. So don't do that. Uh, yeah, we'll try that again in a moment. So we'll try that again. <laughs> So what I was trying to do was show you where it is before dropping down, and then just gently, I, I just sort of, I don't know, slid off the edge. I don't, oh, didn't, uh, I didn't run off. So we two of these uh, mages here. These are easy enough. Even if the spell does hit you, it doesn't do that much damage. Uh, they are quite annoying because the, the tracking on that spell is ridiculous, uh, and they are throughout the area. Those guys. What we're doing now is actually opening up a second bonfire. There is a bonfire on the, the floor for this area. So we're going to go down there. I'll just show you that there's spiders there. And there's spiders all down there. They will drop down and come after you. So when you do get to the bottom, look for the bonfire. Go and light it just in case you die. There, you'll see them all dropping down. So if you do die, you'll, you'll just end up here. So it'll be fine. They uh, they look a lot worse than they are. They all die with one hit. It definitely looks a lot worse than it is. But if they do that grab, which I have never seen and you will see shortly, um, yeah, I, I don't know. It will kill you. <laughs> so 
So yeah, this is a uh, the you can't. The, that's the only way to get to this bonfire is by dropping down to it. This door will be locked from the other side. You won't be able to get through. Basilisk here uh, doesn't have the big eyes. You may notice that is because that they are not its eyes, uh, and you will get invaded by Dark Spirit Bowman Guthrie, which is a really easy summon. Uh, not summon, sorry, uh, invasion. It just has two. Uh, what are they called? Ah, it's gone. <laughs> no, I want to say Amberlins, but that's not right. And I'm sure I say think Javelin. That's not right either. I'm sure someone will comment. No, don't heal. I was doing that. <laughs> Avalin, Avalin. That's what they're called. Like a triple shot crossbow is all he uses, and completely useless if you get close to him. So yeah, don't worry about him. He's not difficult. Spiders throughout, and there's going to be these casters. You can see one ahead of me there. He drops down quite often. He will drop down. He's not always on the floor, so watch out if he's not. Uh, this is a petrified dragon bone, which is the material I need to upgrade the weapon that I'm going to get. Look at the tracking on that. It's ridiculous. <laughs> there are two of them. There is a red. You may have just seen it. I'm trying to hide out the way there. Just show you this red. Um, there it's gone. So it explodes if you get near it. It's not a crystal lizard. Well, it is a crystal lizard, but it doesn't give you anything. So don't kill it. It will explode and kill you. Just try and avoid it. Let it blow up. And uh, yeah, you'll be good. So I'm going to... I've not put it in the top corner, but I'm going to get the butcher's knife. Uh, it's completely up to you uh, if you want the butcher's knife at this point. I like it. I personally like the weapon. Um, yeah, so it's my choice. I'm going to have it. So, this is on effects, the one that we uh, saved from the previous video in Shaded Woods. Uh, you can see there's lots of options here. Uh, she will reinforce armor. You can buy just regular stuff from her here. Uh, heavy crossbow and things like that. She does sell some spells as well. Uh, nothing that we need to buy from her. We can get it elsewhere. Uh, and yeah, the first one is free. So, I'm going to get the Butcher's Knife. Uh, we're going to use the Rotten's Soul. You can actually get either of the two other weapons if you want. Those are the only two options you'll have at this point. You will use the, the Lost Sinner Soul or the Old Dragon Slayer Soul uh, for the other two weapons. So you can see there the Lost Sinner Sword and then the Dragon Slayer Spear. If you want either of those two, go for it. Uh, if not, you can crush their souls. But this is the reason I'm not saying use boss souls uh, is because there are options to have their weapons. Uh, it takes Petrified Dragon Bone to upgrade this thing, so that's what I'm just using here. I can get it up to plus 3 already. Only goes up to plus 5, this thing, uh, so I do need more Petrified Dragon Bone. But I will just show it you uh, now. I, I can't use it yet. Well, I can use it. I have enough strength. Uh, but as I roll, you can see I'm doing a sort of a slower, sort of fat roll type thing. Uh, I don't want that. I would rather stick with the Fire Sword for now. And I'll upgrade my attribute to get rid of that shortly. Uh, yeah, so the Butcher's Knife, it's a quick act. It's basically an axe. It actually comes under the axes. Um, it's quick. It has a long reach on it. You can see it's quite long. And um, you get health back from each hit, which I do like as well. But it is quite fragile. Uh, you'll need to be carrying around a repair powder or be aware of where the next bonfire is. But it's a, a risk I like to take, or think is worth it anyway. I, it's very quick. That's the thing I like. It's so it's such a, a long-reaching, quick weapon, uh, which scales a scale off uh, strength. So um, yeah, there's most strength weapons that scale that well are really slow, but uh, this one's um, very good. So I've walked back to the top now. I'm gonna go a different path this time. Uh, I think yeah, the next the this one we're gonna do we're gonna go across the, uh, the zip line here, and there is a crystal lizard directly across from it. So quickly go and get that. I think this one drops dragon bone if I remember rightly. Yes, it does, and a chunk. So that's two of my next four. I think I need four for the next upgrade. A couple of items there which we'll get afterwards. And then we're going to drop down there afterwards. So there's lots of routes. You can see there's lots of way down and different items and things. Uh, nothing in there. And in here is Pate and the other guy that I keep forgetting his name. Uh, we've spoken to them the whole way through. If you've spoken to them and exhausted their dialogue the whole way through, they will give you a key. 
Um, once once one of them dies, they're basically fighting. Just leave them to it. Uh, in here is a spider. Uh, no other reason to come in here, really. I'm just waiting for them to kind of fight. I like to just let them fight and see which one wins. I'm pretty sure Pate wins every time because he has done three out of three times for me. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to leave them to it. For a moment, just have a quick look around, get another crystal lizard, or show you where it is. I do actually miss it this time. Uh, I'll come back and get it afterwards. But I'll show you where it is. So if you go through this door and quickly look to the right-hand side, there's a crystal lizard. Uh, I took too long with the look there, so it managed to turn around. But don't drop down after it yet. If it gets away from you, just leave it for now. Uh, yeah, that looks like it might be a spider, but it's actually... It reminds me a bit of Half-Life, these enemies. I know on Half-Life they grab your face, um, but on this they uh, they kind of grab your back, so it's pretty cool that the uh, the spider's commanding this this enemy, or taking, uh, taking charge of it. Uh, Tag that chunk there, that's obviously important. Now we're going to go see back what they're doing. They're still going at it. Uh, I will just, uh, I do watch the fight and see who, who wins, uh, but I'm just going to skip it now. Pate does win. You see him here. He goes there. He wins again. So you'll get Cre uh, Creighton. That's a is it Creighton? How do you say it? Crichton? Creighton. You'll get his mask, and you get. Pe I'm actually going. You can kill both of them. <laughs> I kill him anyway. Um, it's supposed to happen that if you exhaust their dialogue, you get a key. I don't get the key. It's not important. Don't worry if you don't get it. But I'll show you which door it opens. Uh, yeah, Pate, Spear, and Ring of Thorns. We have those already. If you kill him, we don't need them. That's the end of their storyline. Uh, so yeah, killing them doesn't matter. And then we're going to make an uh, this way down, which we've already been to the bottom here. And this is why we did the bonfire first, is so we could just walk back to the top and do this a few times. Uh, but yeah, Esther's Flask Shard, uh, the penultimate one that we need, because we can only go to 12 uses. So this will bring us up to 11. And then I'm going to go in here, and the... Uh, spiders will come after me. I was hoping I could get to the bonfire quickly before the spiders got alerted, but it wasn't the case. And then here, you're going to see it do this grab. I have never seen it do that grab before, and it kills me. But I'm fine with that. All I wanted to do was get to the bonfire anyway. Um, I have never seen that grab. Honestly, never seen it. But yeah, watch out for it. Obviously, you could see there it was kind of charging, uh, rocking back and forth before it did that jump. And then go back to the top and go the other way. So yeah, because I have already died once, I'm not bothered about dying again. Uh, obviously the souls, don't lose your souls. Go, always go back and get your souls if you do die. Uh, I will need to switch back to human form uh, for summons. And I'll show you where the summons are. There are three for this boss. Um, but yeah, don't bring all three in. That'd be ridiculous. So yeah, you don't need to run, uh, or uh, yeah, you don't need to do a running jump. Just a running roll is good enough. There is actually an item inside this door as well, uh, but I'm not going to get that. We just need to get these because you can miss the 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 fall is quite a tricky one. You'll just fall straight straight past it. So yeah, I'm just going to get those. I'm trying to hide out the way, but no, I get stuck on these barrels. I get completely stuck here, and then knocked back again. And uh, turn to stone, which is fun. So that's three quick deaths there. You can see they have the proper eyes there as well, not the big ones. And then we're going to go back down again and just do the final time. So we're up here again. So I'll just go and get that crystal lizard, that one, the one I missed earlier. And then that's it. We'll uh, we'll carry on from there. I'll go back and get my souls in a minute. So if, remember, if you do die, <laughs> go and get them. And uh, yeah, we're almost, almost done with this area. And I do manage to get it. So try and trap it against the wall if you can. Large Titanite Shard and Twinkling Titanite. Certain, depending which weapons you're using, you may, instead of Petrified Dragon Bone, need to use Twinkling Titanite. So, uh, yeah, there's some for you if you need it. 
and I'm going to drop down this way because it's these the other way is um, a second part to this area which I'll show you go back human now to make sure I don't die give myself plenty of health and I do need to uh, get the summons so yeah where that crystal lizard was is a uh, the second half of this area but I'll show you how to get through on the ground floor quickly go and get these you're not getting me this time <laughs> And then I'm just gonna run in here for just for quick safety. That's all, because there are lots of spiders and those uh, those mages just keep shooting. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go and do Mummy Spider, who is uh, quite an easy boss, really, especially if you have a summon, because there are only two points you can hit her. Uh, the rest of her is fully armored. Uh, but yeah, she is uh, fairly easy, especially if you have someone, because you can just she'll they'll take the attention away, and you can just go for it. So you can see here that there is one summon here. I will get it now. Um, you can get them to help you with this area, and it's good old bashful Ray. And here's going to be another sorcery. Which we definitely need to get, so make sure you grab this. Again, I will have, uh, by the time this series is finished, on my website, and uh, the link in the description by the time it's done as well, um, a full list of everything you need. So all gestures, sorceries, hexes, um, the others. <laughs> everything we need for trophies, I will list them all. Um, and then if you do are missing any, you need to leave, leave a comment and I'll help you out or um, just see that list. They won't be there as soon as this goes live though, it won't be there. But by the time it's all done, it'll all be written up. Yeah, watch out for that red one, <laughs> it will explode. And uh, yeah, this I'm, the reason I just went back then was to see how many uh, petrified dragon bones I actually needed. Uh, I need a couple more yet. Yeah, and then you go through this door and we'll be in this second sort of area so up at the top is where that crystal lizard was directly above this building uh, if you do sort of half drop down you can go to the uh, the other floor of this building and get a ring uh, I think it's the southern band plus one um, it's not a ring I would ever use So there's sort of a secret area which you can go through. If you drop from the top where that crystal lizard was, there's a doorway. It's kind of to the left of where we are now. So I've just come full circle, I'm just gonna get rid of this one. They do kind of poison you a bit, they have a bit of a delay on their attack as well, which is a bit annoying. Uh, even if you stood in front of them and you have the killing blow, the, the sort of leg will come forward and poison you a bit. So yeah, be aware of that. And um, this door, I'm going to show you in a moment. This one, if you hit it, there is an unavoidable, un unavoidable sand blast that will get you. Um, you'll take a lot of damage from it, so if you do hit it, make sure you've got full health. Uh, and then the locked door, that you, the key that you may get from Pate, will be, uh, the locked door is in there. Uh, nothing we need, so don't worry if you didn't get the key like I didn't, did, didn't, whatever. Um, we don't need it, but there's a few extra bits in there if you do get them, if you do get it. So this, these spikes on the floor here, you do take damage, but you'll see how little damage that actually is. Uh, and there is a, a bunch of titanite there as well, so it's worth doing titanite slab, the whole lot. Yeah, it takes such little, it makes so much noise. You may not be able to hear it <laughs> on this video, uh, but it makes so much noise while you're standing on it. But it's actually not much damage at all. And in here is a lot of spiders. A lot. They all drop down. So get them to drop and just back away. The easiest way to do them, especially if you're on your own, is to uh, use the doorway and uh, bottleneck them. Because you don't want them surrounding you, like you saw what happened before when that happened. But because Ray's with us, 
we'll be fine. There is actually a locked door in this room. We do need to come back here. I will come back here later. This locked door here. Uh, we don't get the key until we've beaten the boss for this area, so we will need to come back here briefly. I will do it at the end of the video. There is a uh, pyromancy in there that we need. So we'll do it. Here's another summon. I'm not going to use this one, I don't think. Do I use it? Oh no, I think I might do. Uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't advise... Oh, it's fine. I mean, having three summons, it's fun. You don't get to do it that often. But be aware, it will give the boss a lot more health. Um, I don't think I do bring her in. No, I think I just use the two. So, yeah, there's a, a, another one down at the bottom afterwards. That's the way we needed to go. Here is a uh, an invader or a black phantom. He's not moving, which is just annoying. I needed him to come out here. There are only three homeward bones behind him, so if you don't need homeward bones, then uh, don't bother with it. But they do come in helpful. Although we will be getting the aged feather soon-ish. Uh, which gives you is basically an infinite homeward bone, and you can just keep using it over and over again. But for now, if you need some homeward bone, if you don't know what homeward bones do, they take you back to your previous bonfire with all of your souls. So they are very useful. So yeah, I don't use that summon. Okay, so we don't. <laughs> I couldn't remember. It's been a day since I recorded this. Just make sure the other one is following you. And then, uh, yeah, this is it. We'll just make the our way down to the bottom here. This is going to be the boss fight. So be aware, lots of spiders. They will sort of creep up on you, but having a summon with you will uh, help you out with that. So there will be one in front, and then one will come from behind as well. This one will drop down if you go near the item. It won't otherwise... I mean, all that for a torch, who cares, really? <laughs> and yes, we're nearly, there's another forest lockstone as well. I mean, they're plentiful at this point. Uh, yeah, we are coming up to the halfway point of the game, finally. This is going to be the, the third primal bonfire, then we just have Iron Keep's bonfire, which we will do next. Uh, we have been to Iron Keep, but it is... Out of all the areas, probably the toughest, especially when we get to New Game Plus, New Game Plus Plus, to get through as we try and sort of rush through the game as quickly as possible. Uh, Iron Keep can be a, a speed bump, but I'll show you the way I go through, and hopefully you're able to do it. Uh, th when we are sort of speed running, I don't want to call it speed running because it's not, but going quickly through the game and avoiding a lot, uh, dying and things like that, just sort of don't matter anymore. You can use death to your advantage, and as long as you hit certain things, switches, etc., it doesn't matter if you die. So we will be doing that. Uh, there's the second summon. Again, all you need is one, really, just a distraction, but it's fun to have two or three, so why not? But, again, the boss will get more health for every summon you bring in. So two is probably the maximum, to be honest. I'm just going to clear up before we go in. And uh, yeah, the Duke's dear Freya. Big armoured spider. So, you can't do a backup save here. Uh, don't worry if you can't, uh, because this boss is easy enough. It really is. Uh, you can't because you have the summons with you. You'd have to send them away. So, don't bother. She's easy enough. There are a few spiders, not that many on the floor. What have we got there? Five? Four? Um, no, there is five. Yeah, I thought there was five. Yeah, just kill the spiders quickly. Just ignore the big spider um, for now. She may do the laser, which she is about to do with me. Uh, it, you can roll through it if you are better than I am, apparently. But yes, like I said, she has two uh, vulnerable areas. Just two. She has a head on each side. So you can see here what the head there. Um, the reason you want to summon is that they take the attack. She will only attack from one end at a time. You can see if she's attacking from their end, then you're free to just go for it at the other end. Um, and you can't... The legs, everything else, the body is all armoured, so don't bother with it. And she will jump around, she'll slam her legs, she will do uh, lunging attacks, she'll do the laser, which is a really good opening. If you are doing this alone, try and... Uh, Stand in front of her like you would do normally. 
uh, try and bait the laser attack so sort of mid-range to uh, distance wise and then when she does the laser roll the opposite way of where from where it starts so it would be the uh, the right hand side your right her left roll through run to the head on the other side and then uh, try and hit it a few times rinse and repeat obviously she will have a lot less health than she has right now so uh, hits would do a lot more damage another attack she has is uh, stamping her feet which is sort of there it is there is another one where she will flurry a lot of lots of stamps and use all of her feet uh, best thing to do then is just back away have your shield up as well the whole time uh, but she can kill you if you have sort of three quarters of your health it can hurt quite a lot my sword is running out but that's okay i have two here to help and we're nearly done anyway so i might as well just get the, the kill in there so yeah summon is definitely advisable on this one at least one to get the attention from the other side leaving you just to open attack openly attack and uh, kill her pretty quickly make sure to grab her soul the great soul there and then we're going to leave and then we'll circle back round and uh, open that door up that I uh, mentioned before because we're going to get the bright stone, co uh, bright stone key now from this guy so just kill him. It's he's going to attack you. He's not an NPC, so don't worry. Just kill it. Fragrant branch there as well. And then we're going to get the trophy, Brightstone Bonfire. So this is the primal bonfire, our third one. And of course, once you interact with it, you will get the trophy, Brightstone Bonfire. Just going to go back to Medulla because you always have to whenever you interact with the primal bonfire. It takes you there automatically. These are one way. Remember. Uh, you can't go back to it and it will just instantly take you here so I'll just do a bit of leveling so I'm able to use my um, my new weapon, a butcher's knife make sure to do your Estus Flask, Estus Flask shard as well and then we're going to level up and I'm actually going to put it into vitality so I'm going to just go up to sort of 15 here so this is the one that increases your equipment load you can see there the numbers going from 56.5 to 61 so Again, it's that percentage to stop the, the fat rolling. This is the reason I'm doing it. So th that wasn't enough, unfortunately. So I'm just going to equip the butcher's knife again. And then try rolling. And it's unfortunately not good enough. So I'm just going to put all my points into it. I will eventually get the Faram armor. So that's heavy as well. If you want to completely reset your stats, you can do. Uh, you need to use a soul vessel. Go and speak to that old woman right at the beginning in Things Betwixt, the one, the middle one at the table. Uh, she will allow you to restat. You'll obviously keep all of your levels. You can reallocate your points straight away. Uh, if you ever need to do that, then do so. But this time I've kind of leveled to make sure I don't need to. Yes, we have stuff in um, Faith. But that is, I'm just going to leave that. I was using it for fire damage. I will still be using it for fire damage if I need to switch to the fire longsword. Um, but most of it's going to go into strength from now on. So I have been building the strength up as well. Uh, but it builds up resistances towards fire and things like that, which is also important. So here we go. We're going to use the butcher's knife for the first time. It gets health back. It has a long swing. It's fast. I like it. it do, you can see it doesn't do as much damage to these guys. It's still only at plus three, remember. Eventually it will be at plus five and uh, a lot better. And it scales off strength at an A rate. So it's really good at that. So the higher the strength goes, the higher this thing do, damage goes. So I'm running back down all the way. All I need to do is get to that room, the big room with the spiders in. And I will homeward bone out. So if you kind of mid-drop down here, so if you drop down here and then turn around uh, and jump across, there is another door there, which does have a ring in it. Not one that we need, but there is one there if you need it. So yes, it does less damage at this point, but it's good. I like this weapon. <laughs> you can see how good it is at crowd control. This is one of the best things with this weapon as well. It's cr crowd control capability. Because of such a long swing and it is fast, uh, it will take care of crowds no problem so you see it's just going to cut through these spiders there just keep going and because you get that health back it's almost almost like bloodborne um you can sort of be a bit more aggressive you can uh, you know you're going to get hit uh, health back it's not a lot of health granted but 
you will get that little bit of health back so you can be a little bit more aggressive uh, you don't have to be worried about taking those extra hits especially with the the ring I have on as well and that's kind of how I'm gonna go from now on I will eventually switch to that other shield once I've done it up a bit more but yeah we can get through here now that we have that key uh, be aware that there are going to spiders dropping in this room you can see someone fighting them there already uh, but yeah they will drop in I think there's six one two three four I think there's six maybe five Is that it? I don't know. Anyway, I probably counted wrong. <laughs> but anyway, the main thing we need is the Great Fireball. So, get the Great Fireball, and then I'm going to Homeward Bone Out. We don't need to run to the bonfire, just Homeward Bone Out. Get back to uh, Majula, and that's going to be the end of the video, and then we're going to go and do Iron Keep next. So, one thing I will just remember mention is, I said, I think I said in a previous video that Fire Seeds are for adding fire to weapons. They're not. I completely get the other things mixed up. Fire Seeds are for upgrading the Pyromancy's Flame. Right. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.